much gone. The threat is still there, but people don't wake up in the morning expecting we're all going to die. The competitions today are economic and cultural. They are not so much military. There are always tensions because the military is an easy default for some people. It's a way to simplify complicated issues. One of the most important things that you have as a university student, and especially in international studies, is to understand how some of these pieces fit together and what your role as a citizen of India and a citizen of the United States, a citizen of whatever country you come from, and then as a citizen of this planet, is how you fit into this and how your school fits into this and how you, when you go forward from here, you're going to fit into this, how you will synthesize these different things and how you're going to go and do with it. Some of you will go on and create a new version of Angry Birds. Not a problem. Some of you will go on and find some new wonder truck which will save millions of lives. Outstanding. But it's going to be up to you to decide what to do with the opportunities that you are given and to go and work on these opportunities and develop new opportunities for other people. As an international student, you have the opportunity to go and see the world from a wider perspective while still internalizing it to your own personal experience and your own background. I was born outside of the United States. My parents, my father was from the United States, but his father and mother were born outside of the United States. My mother, her entire family was born outside of the United States, though as with many of you, she was born a citizen of a country that became another country. My mother was a citizen of well, national of the United States, the Philippines got independence, and suddenly she wasn't an American anymore. Your parents or grandparents grew up as subjects of the British Empire, and one day they weren't subjects of the British Empire anymore. They decided what to do with it. You get to do the same thing. Perhaps you get to keep your citizenship, you get to keep your country. But the world in which our parents grew up doesn't exist anymore. For your children, the world that you grow up in will not exist anymore. It will be something else. You will have a lot to decide as the privileged elites. And I don't mean this in the sense of the Marxist or the capitalist idea of the people, but as the privileged of elites, as the people who are educated, who will play a role in how society is going to integrate and develop the ideas and the events which are going to make up our times, building on the times of the past, to lead us into a future. Right now, for whatever reason, perhaps it's because we don't have these grand political, economic, and strategic causes going on to deflect us, to comfort us, to give us our comfort zone. We seem to have a bit of churn. Well, a lot of people have called the Indian Ocean the Indian of churn. It is a basic concept to this subcontinent. The very idea of the churning of the ocean of milk. It is integral to the way that things are done in this part of the world. Congratulations, that continues. Now, how do we work with this? For 2,000 years, 3,000 years, people have taken the concept of the churning of the ocean of milk and they have built on it. And today, India stands as a leader in economics, stands as a leader in information technology, stands as a leader in the creation of new knowledge, the development of new knowledge, of research. India has reached out into space, and India is reaching out into the hinterlands. You have this wonderful campus in the middle of a rural community. This is great. This is what your parents and your grandparents and the people before them have bequeathed you. The question before you now is, what are you going to do with it? Where are you going to take this place? What do you want from life? Here, in this school, you have a unique opportunity to go and look at the things which are possible to you, the things which you can work with, an opportunity to talk with your teachers, talk with your classmates, talk with your seniors, and then to go and take these things, synthesize them, and do what it is that you are going to do. But enough of that. Thank you very much for your time today. Congratulations and good luck to all of you.